coming off your first win this week, obviously SMU scored a lot more points than the week before, but yeah. some of them were by the defense and by the special teams. Overall, what were your thoughts of the receivers, and what were the biggest differences you saw between in your guys between week one and week two? Well, I, I don't, I don't think I saw any differences. I, I think we obviously we dropped more balls, so that's something that's an area that where we've got to um, steadily improve and get better. Uh, I thought some guys played well against Baylor, and, and some guys didn't play well against Baylor. That that seemed to reverse this past week. You know, some guys that played well against Baylor didn't play extremely well this week. And, and, and it's a work in progress. It was only our second game, and these guys are starting to get familiar with the expectation level of, of myself and and um, how we got to play this game to win. So uh, I think they're, we're, we're improving. We're not quite where we want to be, but you know it's a work in progress. And, and fortunately, we have AM coming in here this weekend. So it's a great uh, opportunity for us to get better against a great football team. You mentioned those drop balls. Is that a concentration thing, or is that just a matter of not quite ironed out the timing between your guys and Garrett? What do you attribute that uh, to? We've got a lot of new situations out there. A lot of new guys are playing, a new quarterback. Uh, and, and, you know, the biggest thing is it's, it's a part of the game. You know what I mean? When you throw the ball, I don't know what we did this past week, but I know the previous week when you throw the ball 70 times, there will be some drop balls. You know, that's just part of football. Um, you know, but these guys are conscious of that. They're working at it. And we just got to get better. I mean, there's there been plenty of opportunities for us to catch up, so to speak, you know, with the uh, reception part of it. So we just got to continue to get better. Coach Jones has traditionally taken his starting four receivers and run them all day long. And in the first two games, you've had, I think, five or six yeah. backups get at least, you know, a couple snaps here and there. Is that by – obviously, Darius Johnson was out this week. But – right. Is the deeper rotation by your choice? Is that by design, or is that just tired legs that you're trying to get fresh guys? Well, in? we want to keep everybody fresh. I mean, I think that's the key to, to our offense. I mean, we want to try to keep everybody fresh, and uh, you know, I mean, obviously, the more guys that are capable of playing, we want to get those guys in there. I don't think any guy came to school here to sit around and watch other guys play. I think if you have the uh, capability of playing and, and, and you're ready to play, then we should get you on the field. And that's something that we, we try to do a better job of, of doing that this past week, obviously with the situation being the way it was. You know, you saw a lot more guys play. But, um, you know, if it's a situation where the, the game requires our best guys to stay in the game and play 90 plays, then they'll play 90 plays. But, you know, so, well, but we want to get more guys out there. I don't think it's one of those deals where we're consciously going into it. It's just a situation. You mentioned Texas A&M coming in this weekend, and obviously you weren't here last year when they met, but you know these guys well. I mean, it's your former boss and, got, and the coaches you worked with at the University of Houston. Right. What do you expect your emotions will be like as you get ready to face Kevin Sumlin and his staff? I, I would expect my emotions would be the same as their emotions. You know, they they want to win. You know, I, I certainly want to win, and I'm sure they want to, they want to win as well. Um, I have a great deal of respect for Kevin Sumlin and their coaching staff, Cliff Kingsbury, uh, B.J. Anderson, the offensive line coach, and Clarence McKinnon, the running back coach, and the rest of the guys that are there. I, mean, I have a great deal of respect for those guys. We had a great career together the last four years in Houston. We were very successful. So I know what they're going to come in here and what their expectations are and what they what their what their philosophy will be is simply to come in here and, and win. And, and that's the same as mine. And I got it from them. <laughs> will you have more of an input than usual on the game plan or will you be hanging out in Coach Mason's office trying to brief him on you know, different play sequences that Coach Sumlin's going to well, go through. I, I Obviously, think, he knows their offense sure. too. Sure, I, I think I think uh, you know Mace has done a great job preparing for us when we were at Houston. He has a general idea of what what the expectations are, and uh, you know we've had several conversations. You know, the main thing is you know they're going to come in here and they're going to run the tempo. The tempo is going to be the big thing, and I'm sure that's the one the main thing that they're emphasizing. And they're going to come in here and press the tempo, and we have to prepare for that. And there's no way you can prepare for that in a week. You have to think about that. You know, we have, we, we put some time to it during two a day. So, you know, you you've got to get ready for that tempo that's coming in. Here. Have you already watched their floor, uh, their game against Florida? Sure, I saw the game against Florida. What were your impressions? A lot of speed on the football field. A lot of talented players. A lot of speed. A lot of emotions for A&M. Obviously, a lot of emotions for Florida. Uh, so. You know, I, I'm sure that, that that will carry over into this week. Obviously, you can see we're building more stands here to try to accommodate the, the, the people that will be here this weekend, and they want to right the ship. You know, they're 0-1 right now. They're coming in here looking for a win, and, and we're in a situation where we're 1-1, and, and, you know, and it will be a great win for us. So we're, we're excited to play this game.
Did Coach Sumlin bring his defensive staff over as well, or was it mostly offensive guys that went with him to College well, Station? I think a lot of mostly offensive guys. I think a lot of guys had opportunities, but chose to take other to, chose to take other opportunities and you know do some other things. So I think everyone had an opportunity to go if they wanted to. So when you prepare for this game, do you look more at the tape of Houston, uh, of A and M and its personnel, or? study more what you know about Houston's offense over, or offense and defense over the last few years and the schemes that Coach Sumlin and his staff are likely to break out on Saturday? Well, I think defensively they're probably going to look more at, at the Houston team, you know, and just kind of get a feel for that and, and kind of compare what, what they see from that film, uh, compare that to what they saw this past week against Florida. So I think for us we're going to look more at, at Marshall and, and South Florida. You know, that's where the defensive coordinator came from, Coach Snyder. And, you know, have a great deal of respect for him. Obviously, he play, we played some great games against them when they were at Marshall. So, you know, we're going to take a look at that and take a look at Florida as well for personnel. You know, because that's those are the guys we'll be playing. And they're pretty good. A and M has a long history of a defensive tradition that they've called themselves linebacker. You right. And but again, obviously, it's new personnel every year. You've right. seen their Florida game. At first glance, what do you consider the strength of A and M's defense? <laughs> the defense. <laughs> The, the defensive line, I mean, they're very talented up front. The linebacker core, I can see why they would get the name linebacker U. I mean, they're very fast, very physical. The secondary, you know, is very talented as well, very athletic, very you know, has a lot of speed back there. So, you know, we, we've got our work cut out for us, and we've got a, a tremendous challenge ahead of us, and, and our kids are getting ready to meet that challenge.